A little Kahlua in the coffee. Hello all you fine people out there. Um, I just want to do a really quick video. Uh, I got a package today, actually yesterday. And I want to show you some of my uh, the key uh, comics from the Silver Age that I got signed by Stan Lee. And uh, I got graded sent them in at uh, Chicago Con and I got them back a while ago so I'm going to show you those but before I do that I wanted to uh, mention a good friend of mine out in Canada uh, you know him as Coast and Brown Star his name's Scott he's uh, been not feeling very well he's uh, I guess the past couple of weeks he's got uh, some kind of uh, medical condition with his uh, heart so uh, my uh, you know sympathy goes out to him and I hope that uh, he gets uh, better you know as soon as possible I hope uh, he recovers uh, really nice from this <clears throat> terrible thing that he has to, has to you know, he's been going through this for a while you know, and I hope he can recover completely but um, if uh, any of you are familiar uh, with Scott, maybe it would be uh, nice if you visited his channel at uh, Coast and Brown Star. I'll leave the uh, link in the description box. Maybe just give him some words of encouragement, you know, and uh, or if you like his channel, you can subscribe to it, and uh, it might make him feel better. They have lots more subscribers, and he's got uh, some pretty uh, you know, interesting videos. He always has interesting videos, and kind of a funny guy uh, and uh, you know maybe you can uh, keep them in your prayers if if you're not religious maybe in your meditations or thoughts that would be nice you know leave some comments to uh, words of encouragement that would be really nice so the phone call I have to answer it later <clears throat> uh, that being said, uh, Scott, get well soon, please. Uh, let me show you the comics that I sent in to be graded. I did this at Wizard World Chicago Con. And uh, first up, these are all lower grade, by the way. All right. So this is uh, X-Men number one, came back at 2.5. All signed by Stan Lee. Right there. Then I have a, uh, another copy of X-Men number one, 4.5. Signed by Stan Lee. Right over here. Boy, he's just relentless with that phone, huh? Then I, uh, the third one I had was an Avengers number one. Came back at 3.5. Signed by Stan Lee on the cover. Next one is another Avengers number one. Signed by Stan Lee. Uh, maybe let me take it out of the plastic there. I think you can. The reason I left it in the plastic because I think it eradicates some of the glare, but. Uh, Anyway, here's an Avengers number one, 5.5 signed by Stan Lee. And the other one I had was a 3.5. Hmm. Ah, there it goes. I've got to try to figure out the ways to get rid of that glare. I bet you that was my wife calling me. She's up, she's up there in the North Woods with the bears. It was my wife calling me. I mean, I know she called me here on the cell phone. Now she's calling me on the home phone. Uh, it had to be her. She's. She's in the North Woods in our 
in uh, the place I call the compound. Uh, next what I got is a <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number one, 3.0. See Stanley's signature is pretty obvious over there. Crap. I can't figure out what's worse with the plastic or without. There it is. Yeah, meeting Stan Lee was uh, pretty uh, great experience, but it was uh, like an assembly line there. You know, you just uh, he's signing them. You know, they pass them through, and he just keeps signing, just like an assembly line. Not much of a chance to talk at all. Although I did get a chuckle out of him when I showed him my program guide from 19, I think 1970. I think it was 1976 when he showed up there. I told him I waited like uh, 32 years to get that thing signed, you know, and he got a laugh out of it. He says, I'm a very patient man. You are a very patient man. Anyway, the next one I got signed is uh, another amazing Spider Man number one. This is 6.0, but it's got a purple label, meaning that there is some uh, slight restoration. And I knew that the restoration is to the cover. Put it in and take it out of the plastic. See, 6.0, signed by Stan Lee. And uh, I got a higher grade uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. It's probably a 7.0, 7.5. I didn't want to get that graded because I'm. I got copies, uh, higher grade copies of all these books. The only reason I got these graded is because I'm probably going to end up uh, selling these maybe on eBay. But I'm, you know. Not sure, uh, not sure, 100% sure yet when I'm going to do that, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to get for these. I might try eBid first. eBid is different from eBay, which eBid is an alternative to uh, eBay. You might want to check that out. eBid, E B I D, eBid. Uh, I haven't even I never even heard of it until somebody had mentioned to me that that would be a, that's a great alternative to eBay but they hardly have anything on there I mean it's no they're still uh, a relatively uh, uh, young company you know and uh, they don't have that much stuff uh, on their uh, auction sites as, as e anywhere near what eBay has but uh, the uh, the attraction uh, to EBIT is that uh, it doesn't cost anything. You know, you got a lifetime membership for seventy five bucks, and then it doesn't cost anything uh, unless you you know decide to put pictures in the in the gallery section. You know, then they charge like uh, two percent, I think, of the total sale, which is a lot less than what eBay is charging. You know, it's a lot less expensive. But anyway, showed you those. Next thing I got is this. This is uh, oh, this calls for something. 
something else. This calls for an exacto knife. You gotta do this very, very carefully. to be about in the condition I expected it to be, so that's good. Um, I was inspired to buy this by a video I saw that uh, 74 uh, Susu uploaded because of its relationship to uh, the Mars attack cards. See this guy right here? I always, I was familiar with this uh, EC comic book, uh, uh, Weird Science number uh, 18. I was familiar with the fact that, you know, Tops, that this was an inspiration for their Mars attack creatures, but I thought that uh, Tops had, you know, swiped it literally just you know st stole the idea from this cover and I didn't really uh, pay that much attention to it you know but uh, I didn't even realize that this cover was by Wally Wood until I saw 74 Susu's uh, video in which he showed this and explained a little bit more about it and then I found out that uh, uh, Topps uh, trading card company there was a lot more to it. They didn't swipe this. In fact, they had, uh, they were certainly inspired and influenced by this cover, but they contacted Wally Wood and uh, had asked him to do a, a series of uh, preliminary sketches for the Mars Attack cards. And they professed their interest, you know, in uh, using this. And I guess they paid, you know, paid them, uh, I don't know how much money, but uh, for the use, but. Uh, I, it just shows you I don't know everything, you know, I, I had always assumed that uh, the trading car company had literally stolen this from, uh, from this cover, you know, but there was a lot more to it. There was a whole relationship involved with uh, Topps Cards and Wally Wood and uh, the cover that he did, this cover that he did for uh, Weird Science. So, uh, oh, I could smell the aging in here. I got a bunch of Mars Attack cards over there. I'm going to do a video with uh, the Mars Attack cards and I'll show you this book again. Uh, show a little bit more about it. But, um, oh, I didn't see this. Hmm. Looks like there's a little piece of the cover gone right right over there. I don't know if you can see there or not, but it's right in there. At any rate, so that's that. I'm glad I got this. And uh, again, if you guys, uh, I'll leave the link for uh, Coast and Brown Stars channel down there in the description box and you might want to pop by his channel and uh, say hello give him some words of encouragement that'd be nice and uh, if you're so inclined maybe you want to subscribe to his channel too and I'll see you guys uh, next time remember uh, that my uh, raffle the contest raffle slash raffle is gonna be uh, ending um, what is today? Sunday? I would say ending by uh, Wednesday, which would be October or whatever it is, but uh, uh, the 3rd or something like that, I don't know. And uh, so get your stuff in by then, by Wednesday, and I'll upload the uh, 
video with uh, the winners of that raffle. So all you guys take care and uh, we'll see you soon.